Deep inside, there is this feeling growing. Fear the worst. Tears running down my face. Make it stop. The world is driving me crazy. I need a light in the dark. Good morning, everyone. It's Asha here from Pandemonium. It's a beautiful day. This spot is so wonderful. It's very peaceful. Well, I'm going to get my day started and take a look around. They have a few of these benches along the shoreline. It's a nice place to just sit and relax. It's very peaceful here. Hi, Mama. <laughs> So here's the flowing river. They do have a dam structure here. I've even seen people walk across it. So pretty. I think that's one of the prettiest sounds ever. This is Ballinger Park. There is a road that loops around that you can walk on or run, jog, whatever. They do also have a playground. It's definitely a great place to stay. It's not free, but it is inexpensive. $15 a night. Plus, it's relaxing, beautiful. Just a wonderful place to be. Right, Moo Moo? <laughs> Mick and Colleen were parked right next to Terry and Scott, but they wanted to go visit Abilene, so they went ahead and hit the road. Um, we're going to meet them in Lubbock in a day or two. There's a statue of an Indian here with his palm raised. It's called A Friend. Not sure if you can read that, but if so, here's some information if you'd like to pause it and read. A Friend. This is one of the highest points here. Kind of like an overlook. It's not really high, but you still get a nice view from up here. There's the park. There's the pool and bathroom. Here's the nice big pool. I don't know when it opens. I haven't seen anybody swimming in it yet. And here are the restrooms. There are no showers in the restrooms. And they're not that clean, but I've seen worse. A bit weathered and used, but it has running water and it's a bathroom, so. That's the small hilltop that the Indian statue is on. Here's the posted sign on overnight camping fees, $15 per night. If a tenant is not on duty, please place fee in the lock box, which is right under the sign. There is one annoyance here. You can hear it in the distance. It's a train. It does come through every once in a while, not too often, but it's not right up on you and real loud, but you can still hear it in the distance. It hasn't really bothered me. Um, I need to go ahead and unhook, pack up, and secure everything down because we're going to be hitting the road here in probably in about an hour. I can getting back on the road but we've got to stop by the dump station first so that uh, the way they get dumped Hi. it's kind of a tight squeeze going out a little bit uh, class A just pulled in with a tow vehicle they seem like a nice couple in half a mile turn right onto North Broadway Street thanks Bab My awesome place. You're wonderful. <laughs> so the 
dump station is to the left here. And down the road, there's another entrance right there. But it's down the road and to the back entrance. I'm not sure which one. I think either this is the back entrance or that's the back entrance. I believe that's the back entrance. Oops. In half a mile, turn left onto North 4th Street. Thanks, Bev. She's a bit loud today. Let's turn her down. So here is the dump station right here. It's just one little nozzle coming up from the ground. That's it. And I believe y'all know what goes on here. That's definitely a weird place to have a bench is by the dump station. Great view, but stinky smell. I take the chance Dancing this one last dance Meet you where Well, fortunately, I don't have to dump. I just have to dump out my jug. It's just pee, so... I'm not sure who's leading. I guess I can ask. Do you want me to go first? That's fine. Okay. Onward bound. All right, here we go. Back on the road. We'll be heading to, I'm not sure, Spring Springfield, I believe. It's right on I-40, or right off of I-40. Oh, Too late to try, you late to decide to spread out your wings, just jump and then fly. You live in duck proud of natural highs, like feeling true love and feeling. Good. All right, well, we made it to Sweetwater, Texas. It's a bit warm here today. We've come to a local Walmart just in case anybody needs to get any supplies. All right, or gas up. Gas is $2.59 here. I'm at a half a tank, so I guess I could top off. Maybe walk inside, see if I need anything. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue on. I believe we're going on 40. Can we continue on? I'll park over here. Not to mention the Moo Moo Monster is hot, aren't you? Huh? If they kiss, let's get out of the car. Whoa! 600 feet, take the I 20 West ramp on the left. Alright, so we've gotten back on the road. We filled up on gas and did some shopping. I don't know why I was thinking this was um, I-40. It's actually I-20. I-40 is not till further north. But anyways, we're getting on I-20 and we are heading west. Our next destination, or our actually final destination for the day is Loveland. There is free camping there with full hookups up to four days if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go there and wait for Colleen and Mick to arrive because they're gonna be in Abilene for a day or two. And I don't think they're gonna have full hookups but they wanted to see stuff there. We didn't really wanna go because it's kind of backtracking. So we're just gonna continue on our route towards Colorado. 
feeling true love and feeling alive Just take my hand and let me guide you I'm showing you things every day life can provide you Just give it one shot, baby, you can come and slide through It isn't a secret, you can tell the way I eye you That I like you, I'm here to try to free your mind from the trap The emptiness you feel inside, I'm here to bridge up the gap Just buckle up and try to find yourself a grip on the strap Cause baby, we ain't never gonna look back Here comes our exit, 84 West Exit 238 to Snyder and Lubbock. We're gonna go kind of diagonal up to Lubbock, taking 84, and then half a mile, keep right, continue on US 84, follow signs for Snyder and Lubbock. Thanks, Beverly. And then Leveland is due west. I mean, literally, it's all the way west, but it's not that far from it. And we're splitting off from 20 right here. 20 west goes that way. We're gonna go 84, it says business. Oh no, that's half a mile. But yeah, 84 west, which kind of goes northwest. Not sure if you can see that in the distance, but there sure are a lot of wind turbine farms around here. Wow, they just cover the landscape. And more, oh my goodness, we're getting ready to come into a bunch of them. We passed them um, on the other side of Sweetwater, I called it Springfield earlier, but it was actually um, Sweetwater, Texas. Okay, yep, here they come. Look back, Oaks. Well, it is crazy hot, so we decided to stop. Today was in the 90s, and it's still pretty hot. So we're here in some small town. Not sure what the town's name. Do you know the name of this town? Post. Post. Yeah, okay, Post. Anyways, um, we are just going to rest here for a little bit. We stopped at a nice park right by a water. I don't know if it's a lake or a river. It might be a river. Anyways, we're gonna just rest here for a while. It's pretty. What in the world? <laughs> Are you following us? I'm driving people. Just happened to see you. <laughs> Damn, you got good eyes. Jeez. So we were just sitting just here. Truck camper. There's panda. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. We were just sitting here relaxing, and then all of a sudden, Colleen and Mick show up. <laughs> Are they pooping on you guys? No, nope, they're Canadian. <laughs> they're Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hung up on <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to not hang up on people. I hung up on Colleen because she said that remark. <laughs> no, you didn't. You no, didn't. I didn't. Listen, the Canadians are our brothers and sisters I guess, in Washington. I guess they got tired of um, Abilene. It was too hot, maybe. They, they missed us. Yeah. Let's admit that. <laughs> Let's just admit it. They missed us. <laughs> it's very funny and unexpected to see Mick and Colleen here. They're going to go ahead and head to Lubbock. That's where we're headed now. But they're going to go on and travel all night long to Albuquerque. They just want to get out of this heat. And they have stuff to get done. We have changed our plans, too. We are not going to go to Albuquerque because we'd be going into more heat. It's supposed to be... 90 to almost 100 degrees in Albuquerque the next couple of days. So we're not going to do that. We're going to just start heading up into Colorado, get out of Texas. So once we get into Colorado, we can start exploring more because it's going to be in the 70s and 80s, which is much better. Have made it here to Leveland and got situated this town is a lot bigger than I remember it being because I only drove through a certain part and it looked like there was nothing here but there is actually a Walmart and everything else. Um, I have been to this specific park which is free camping up to three nights I believe 
with full hookups. So if you're interested in that video, there will be a link at the end. I am going to end it here because it's been a long day of driving. I'm ready to relax and just enjoy myself. So I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me today and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Onward bound.